If you work in an organization that provides care 24 hours a day, chances are you're in the middle of a war. A war between the day shift and the night shift. However, it doesn't have to be this way. On this episode of Coffee and Conversations about Nurse Bullying, we're going to talk about what you can do to stop this war by setting the next shift up for success. I'm Dr. Renee Thompson, the CEO and founder of the Healthy Workforce Institute. Welcome to Coffee and Conversations about Nurse Bullying. Well, why do you think this war exists? Well, it's partly because each shift believes that they do more than the other shift, and yet somehow the opposite shift has it easier. They forget that care happens over a 24-hour period of time. And although there are differences in the structure of the shift, of course, Patients still get admitted, we still encounter the same unexpected crisis, and you have the medication administration, the assessments, the documentation, all of that occurs day or night. You know, when I was a new nurse, an older, very wise nurse gave me this advice, and I pass this advice along to you. She told me, every day that you work, do one thing to make it easier for the next nurse. And I did. Sometimes it was just to hang a courtesy bag of IV fluids. And if I had more time, I'd straighten up the room. I'd make sure the next nurse had all the supplies that you know they needed to care for that patient. And you know, sometimes I would even do more. That advice served me so well, and I know it can help you. So what can you do to stop, stop this war? Well, starting today and every single day you work, just do one thing to make it easier for that next person who's following you, just one. Because the more you show appreciation and do everything that you can to help your enemy, the sooner this war will end. Was there anything or any advice that you wanna share with everyone who's watching today? If so, please post in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you're dealing with any type of bullying and incivility at work, please don't ignore it. I want you to do something about it. And here are a few options. First of all, you can get a copy of my book. I wrote this book uh, about 10 years ago, and this is really designed for a, a nurse who's dealing with bullying from a coworker. You can get this book on Amazon or on my website, healthyworkforceinstitute.com. Second of all, you can join my community of other nurses who really want to come together in a way of supporting each other, not eating each other. And of course, you can always subscribe to this video series where you can learn simple strategies that you can use to stop bad behavior in your workplace. So until our next conversation, be kind, take care, and stay connected.